Wait, wait, hold up. Mm, I'm gonna find out exactly who you are with the unicorn, the last unicorn deck. It's definitely one of my favorite goosebumps whenever I pick up this magical deck. Let's see, who are you? The number four is very prevalent as well, justice. Some people may like it, but justice has been served. The angels, your angel team have guided you, protected you. And I'm seeing the diamond, the kite, you know, and it's like you've turned the box this way into alignment and magic. Instead of thinking in the square, you've gone, what if we just... Justice, you're very fair, you're very protected, you're very wise you look at things in the other way it's like you got you you might do this a lot like you're like what if we do that it's like you get something and you change it into something else this is an australian thing but i'm seeing like blackboard now um if you're from oz grew up in the 80s 90s 70s probably even um upside down upside down he says he sees things Sometimes things are upside down. Here is the Six of Swords in reverse with the Empress. Things are not always as they seem and the Empress knows this. The Empress knows what's real, what's growth, what honors and cherishes life and what is the opposite flip side of that. The Empress knows because she is able to see a path through the chaos to honor life she sees the blue clouds she knows all that is she knows the truth and so she sees through she sees the path you are somebody who despite everything the massive information that's now available to us the voices the different opinions you find your way that is connected to life that honors life and love the empress that honors growth within your soul it's like a negative situation could happen and you could see it it's like you automatically flip it into something that's positive like you're like that helped me grow through that that's something that you do regularly um the tower in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's, it's about freeing yourself. You're somebody who's able to, instead of getting stuck and fixated on the negative, you, you flip it and you go, okay, well, it's not forever. You know, the only thing that's, what is it? Something, ah, oh, quotes. Um, you know, change is the only constant. Mm -hmm. And so you see this. And so if any situations happen in your life, even from a wee young age, you know, if something negative happened, you know, say in the school ground and I mean, kids can be cruel, so can adults. Do we ever change? Probably not. A lot of us don't. Some are awakened souls. Some, you know, are born as awakened. We're just waiting for the rest to catch up. And some never do. It takes lifetimes. But you're somebody who's awakened and you've been able to see you've gone through these situations that haven't always been kind and supportive of your empress or empress self. They haven't been supportive of life. They haven't been awakened. And yet you've seen it as a way to strengthen your aura, yourself, your vision. You've found a way through. Through the noise, through the opinions, through those, you know, things trying to cut you down you know like the tall poppy syndrome which is like you know you, you've found a way through all of these obstacles that have tried to hold you back you found a way through that is an alignment with growth slow and steady wins the race isn't it? queen of swords that's what i mean and the lovers stunning you found a way through and it's like you cut through the BS. They tried to cut you and you cut through the BS. You see? Oh, you stepped into your power through love. You did it through love.
because that's the highest power of all, as we know. The frequency of love is beyond all of this. You found your strength in love. <laughs> what a card. Oh, I love that card. I've never really looked at that properly. He's hugging a tree. I love that card. Mother tree. Hug a tree today. The answers are all there. You're somebody who does things differently. You're not afraid of looking at things from a different light. You understand that not everything is as it seems. You trust what is in alignment with life and love and you honor that. Last but not least, <clears throat> King of Cups. You're a lover. <laughs> not only are you a lover, you're, you're, a, you're a genius at love and at flipping things around to your benefit and others' benefits and helping others and seeing the best and honing your gratitude, your skill and emotional intelligence, your balance, your wisdom, your art and creativity, your flowing soul and your trust. And despite it all, you know, at the end of the day, it was worth it. It was all. Thank you.